I'll keep this brief and to the point. David Icke, two things I challenge you on. One, um, concerning your supporters and the things that they post on anyone's videos who takes any issue with you. It's not acceptable in my opinion and I think that that's the opinion of a lot of other people. And from the complaints I see uh, on the internet uh, from people concerning things that your supporters have, um, have said, on, uh, uh, said on, on their videos and stuff like that, um, I, I rest my case. Um, so I challenge you um, to speak to your supporters um, uh, publicly and tell them that you don't condone that kind of behaviour. You don't have to do it, David, but now that I've brought it out into the fore, I think that you should, because it's in your interest to do so, because they are representing you, and um, you know some of them have made uh, threats of violence and stuff towards me just because I went to Bilderberg 2013 and put this video up. And what's wrong with the video? I shook your hand, and you ran off. The look of terror in your eyes was ridiculous. Yeah, you don't want to talk to me in any shape or form. I can see that. Okay, so offering you a live debate is a pretty worthless exercise. But um, your uh, supporters, on the other hand, I think that you should be speaking to them. I mean, you know, even the amazing atheist uh, spoke up against his, his supporters making threats at one stage. But you haven't done that. Okay, and, and whoever puts up a video about you will agree with me, uh, and they can show it. Anyone looking at the comments on there can see that they're not just not acceptable. Uh, for a man of your position and a man over 50 to have supporters are doing stuff like that, I think is a disgrace. So it's up to you, David, uh, on that. But I'm challenging you to um, speak openly to your supporters and, and tell them that you don't condone this kind of stuff or not. It's up to you. And the second challenge I've got to you, David, is um, a debate again with me. Yeah, um, because it's quite clear that you would do anything to avoid any kind of conversation with me and, and this Bilderberg thing where we bumped into each other uh, is the proof of the pudding that you don't even want to say more than hello mate and run off down the road. Here you are, there look, there you are, scarpering away, there. Okay, so it's now, it's now on record and other people saw it too. So even without the video, there's still witnesses there that saw it. You, you, you ran off from me and I was polite. Uh, and, and everything. I didn't do anything uh, out of order at all to make you behave in that way. But, you know, I think it's because I'm a born again Christian. I've got the Holy Spirit within me. Jesus Christ and the Father and the Holy Spirit all love me and they are with me and have shown me wonderful things to show other people. But you, on the other hand, talk about these strange entities which frighten the crap out of you and make comparisons between calling yourself Jesus Christ and uh, then claiming that Jesus Christ and Napoleon are the same person, which is, is, is an absurdity and, and you know it, and yet you pump it and preach it um, without any shame whatsoever. So I'm challenging you to a debate, David Dyke. It's about time you gave me that debate. You know I deserve it. The media run away from me, you run away from me, even the churches run away from my discoveries, such as the face of Apollyon in the cave of the apocalypse. I mean, it's pretty clear <laughs> that you lot don't want to have anything to do with any of the stuff that I do. And yeah, fine, I understand. If we have a debate, David, yes, it will raise my profile. But my profile is bigger than you lot make out it is anyway, because people are watching and learning from the things that God has, has shown me, which I've shown other people. And, and I've got more to show. So, yeah, it would raise my profile a bit more, but um, at the same time, yes, it would possibly completely and utterly destroy you. So I'm not surprised that you're afraid to debate me. So whether you debate me or not, there's the challenge in front of everyone. I'm challenging you to a live debate, okay, a public one where there'll be people all over the shop watching everything that happens so there won't be any editing or anything else in either your favour or mine. Okay, whatever comes out of it, comes out of it. It's about time you put up, David, or it's time you shut up, basically, isn't it? Yeah? Take the debate, David, okay? Because people are asking questions. Why are you so scared to talk to this man? Yeah, you're scared to talk to me, David, because it's the end of your career once you do that. And you know it, and so does everyone else, including your supporters, in my opinion, because of the things that they post on the videos there, including threats of violence. It's unacceptable, David. Man of the people, are you? Well, you talk about freedom of speech. Where's my freedom of speech, David? When I, when I speak freely and make an innocent video like this, should I be subjected to stuff like that from your supporters? For shame, David Icke. For shame. Really, you should be ashamed of yourself, in my opinion. Live debate, David. Name the date, the place, the time. I will be there. Okay? But you can kiss everything goodbye from that moment because you won't be able 
to uh, take me on in the debate in any shape or form. Uh, unless, of course, you use your usual tactics. But if we do it live, you won't really be able to do that. So, live debate, David. And, and as I said, the other challenge is, is why don't you come out now and make a video and tell your supporters not to harass and threaten anyone that takes issue with you. Because that, dear boy, is not freedom of speech. That is dictatorship. And I understood that you don't like dictators. So why do you allow your supporters to behave like you are their dictator and uh, make such disgusting comments uh, to people who have got every single right in every shape and form to take issue with whoever they like, including me? Who do you think you are, David? Jesus Christ? Hey? Eh? No, you're not Jesus Christ, because if you were Jesus Christ, I would humble myself, yeah, and get down on my knees and worship. But you are not Jesus Christ. And Napoleon is not Jesus Christ. Okay? And the other thing is, David, is this. I'm going to say this now. I believe that you are a reptilian. I believe that you've been um, talking about yourself all these years. I've seen a couple of dodgy videos where your eyes have changed shape. And uh, it seems by, to me, my assessment, that you're not a human being, that you're half human, half angel. So you're not actually a human being. And these allegations that you've been making about people being reptilians, you've been talking about yourself. Uh, and I think it won't be long now before that actually comes out to everyone's shock. I wonder what story you'd come out with then when uh, the exposure of that comes just before the angels come and gather everyone who is a tear up and, uh, and, and burn them. I don't think you're human. I think you have the ability to change colour like a chameleon has. But uh, even, even better than a chameleon can do. And I've seen this happen twice uh, in one day with two separate people. And I think that we will see it with you and all the other tears also. So there you go. Let's have a debate. Because I say you, you are a reptilian, David Ike. And uh, I believe that you are half human, half angel. And you've said that we are all angels. Speak for yourself. Not me, no. I am a man. I was made in the image of God. I do not have any reptilian parts in my brain and I do not have the ability to change uh, my colour. Um, so amazingly well as you um, reptilian tears can do. No, I don't have that because I was made in the image of Christ, not in the image of, of a serpent. And it seems that that's what you are. So let's debate, David. Um, or we could do it o o o over the air. I've, I've challenged you to this before, and you've always run off. And the only response that I've had is your supporters coming and making threats and uh, allegations and uh, harassing me and stuff like that. So how about you speak for yourself, Dave, man of the people. You can stand in front of a crowd and talk to them, but you're scared to talk to one single man. Hardly surprising. As a born-again Christian, um, it's no wonder that, in my opinion, say that, that the demons inside you tremble in my presence. But when Jesus Christ comes in himself, you've got to have it. So how about we discuss it now, Dave? Fair crack of the whip. Huh? Or am I going to be subjected to um, more ridiculous and, and vile comments by people who are supporting you? It's time you came out and told them to behave themselves, David, so that you can gain people's respect. You certainly haven't got mine anymore. You lost it a long, long time ago. And you lost it at the time when the Lord started working on me. And that's what's going to happen, David. You're all doomed to destruction, you lot. It's time you humbled yourself before God. Okay, pack it in. Okay, who are you fooling? Giant spaceship, moon, etc. Come on, let's have a debate. Let's have it out. You've got nothing to hide. Um, you know, my profile is bigger than you make out it is. And you know, you know that, David. So come on. Debate me, David, either online or face-to-face -face in front of people so there's no editing or mucking around, yeah? And tell your supporters to behave themselves. After all, they treat you as if you're some kind of a god. So therefore, they should obey what you say. How about it, Dave? Yes or no, again. You know, it's boring me. Let's have this debate. Come on. Other people want it. I want it. You're just too scared. Prove that you're not. Let's have a debate. Come on.